So we start where we left off, where we have some basic HTML over here. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It's the language that all web pages are written in. And it's displayed in our browser here. Now last time we put in two separate lines here and it displayed as one line over here. And what we're going to do is add a little bit more information to our source file so that it gets displayed as we would want it to. So first of all, if I put in an opening P tag, you can see it's this left angle bracket, which is above the comma, followed by a P, followed by the right angle bracket, which is above the full stop. So use the shift comma shift full stop to access those. And then slash P at the end. So that's one paragraph. And I'm going to put it in for the next paragraph. And if I save it, so I can click File Save, but now I'm going to move to just pressing Control and S because it's much faster. And then I can go over to the next application like this, but instead I'm going to press Alt and Tab, and it takes me to the last application I used. And then I can use the F5 key, which is the same as hitting Refresh. And we can see it has indeed separated it out into two paragraphs. And just like normal paragraphs, there's a space in between. If we didn't want the space in between, then we'd have to put in, we have to make it part of the same paragraph, but we would also put in a line break like this. So all of these tags are like instructions. So start a new paragraph, put in hello world, start a new line, put in how are you, end the paragraph. I'm going to save it, alt tab to get to my other window, F5, and you can see the gap has disappeared. It's just a line break in the same paragraph. I can put in other tags as well. So for example, I can put in the strong tag like this, and I'm going to take off the strong tag like this. So we've got a strong element. I save it. And you can see in our default styling, what it's done is it's put it into bold. Now maybe I want to emphasize this with the EM tag. And there's a whole load of these tags, loads and loads and loads of them, and you'll get to know what the different ones do as we go along. Save it, and we can see the effect of that has been to put this in italics. It doesn't have to put it in italics, but that's just the default styling because we haven't added any styles of our own. We'll get onto styles later. I think a good idea now would be for you to write several paragraphs, remembering to open each paragraph with the P tag, write some text, and then close each paragraph with the slash P tag, thus creating the paragraph elements.